Christmas. So we'd like to dedicate this story to our dear friend Valerie Les, who passed away last year. Both Sherry and I individually have uh, given stories here at Vancouver Story Slam, and Valerie attended each and every one during the past couple of years. Buenos Aires, Argentina. And our first morning there, we hit go for coffee. We think we're doing pretty well with our Spanish. Si. Café, uh, Hugo de Naranja. Si. But when I asked for agua, por favor, the waitress says... <laughs> now, we didn't know at the time she was saying con gas or sin gas, sparkling or plain. We just heard... <laughs> so, I, so I go ahead and... Sherry uses the international language known as mine. El Tapo, glug, 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 agua. We need some serious help. At the language school, they gave us a uh, placement test. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> so we answer a series of multiple choice questions, and we have to uh, write a paragraph about ourselves. En espanol. So I'm busy. I'm about halfway through my paragraph when I look up and I see Jim. He's finished already. He si. must really know what he's doing. Oh, see, si, see. Si. The assessor goes through our answers. And she's laughing. I mean, my paragraph was pretty rudimentary, but Jim's chicken scratch, all these random words stretched no, no, no. across the not, page. Not random. Si, no, si, gracias, senor. No, no, no. De nada, no, de nada. All right, you know, I was writing a conversation. And the multiple choice, I mean, what are the odds of a person getting every single question wrong in a multiple choice? <laughs> well, uh, I did get one right. Yeah, you would have, except you changed the answer. <laughs> I still think it was unprofessional that the assessor laughed. Now, I'm put in a class second to the bottom. Pretty low, but Jim, well, he's in the special class where they make birdhouses and they weave baskets. Well, again, again, that's not quite right. My class did go on a field trip to the zoo one day. That's true. Now, all the students in the school are young Europeans. Very young. Um, except for us, of course. Two Dutch boys in my class. I have underwear older than those two. Combined. Now, my class is a struggle. The words I hear most often from my instructor are, No, Jean. Except one day I'm actually understanding and, and, and actually communicating in a way I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to talk about shopping. Oh, si, senor. I go to Jumbo for groceries and my local Mercado. I visit the Pharmacia for uh, toothpaste, the antihistaminico. And I, uh, of course, several times a day, I go for vino y cerveza. Yeah, that's true, several times. There's a pause and a look of exasperation on my instructor's face. No, Jean, sportivo. Hmm, S sportivo. Sports. I'm supposed to be talking about sports. I am a hockey player. <laughs> See, professional. Oh, professional. Mm. I am my team's enforcer. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I have the Dutch boy's attention now. <laughs> and penalty minutes? See, sí, muchas. So the real test of any language lesson is how well you do in the real world. Now, it's probably not advisable to consume an entire bottle of wine and two bottles of cerveza at lunch before going out into this real world and having a meaningful discussion in a language you're just a little shaky. A little shaky. We're lost and we're looking for the activist group called the Abuelos. Yeah, I was going to interview them for a play that I was writing. And how are you going to do that? Uh, I don't really know. Perhaps the international language of mine. Oh, could be. So we see across the street from us uh, an office with a sign. 
Partido Socialista. And a young man standing in the doorway wearing a Che Guevara t-shirt. Well, the Socialist Party, perfecto, our kind of people, <laughs> they will know where the abuelas are. The young man said he was part of a movimiento. Oh, si, sí, movimiento, socialista, politico, si. Sí. Mm -hmm. So I told him, I showed him the address and I told him where we were going to want him to go. He said he didn't really know where, if he could help us, but he was going to phone somebody who could. Oh, so yes, he's going to phone the party headquarters right now, si, the leader si. of the party. Si. Now, while I am busy trying to find directions, Gene... Well, I'm having an in-depth discussion with two of my new comrades, and we've decided we're going to nationalize the uh, media, the giant media cartels. And I know I'm having a political discussion because uh, the words movimiento and socialista come up, and politico. Still, something was a little off. <laughs> That's when I hear for the very first time, they're not saying si politico, but... No politico. And they're not really saying socialista mo movimiento, but... No socialista movimiento. And it's then that I notice, out of the corner of my one good eye, that uh, there's a large uh, uh, dilapidated truck mm -hmm. outside the party yeah, office. filled with furniture. And we're not actually standing in the doorway of Partido Socialista. No, the office next door. And they're not really our comrades in a socialist movement. No, but employees of a moving company. <laughs> <laughs> Movimiento? See, <laughs> si, furniture movers. All right, so we didn't master the Spanish language. No? No, Jean. But we brought home some pretty nice birdhouses. See. Si. Happy Valentine's Day, Jean. Uh, see, um, uh, Feliz, uh, Sherry, Feliz uh, Navidad. 